Hi everyone, so this week's video is um, a little bit different. It's not a speed paint video, it's actually a uh, <laughs> sort of my show off video um, of my colored pencils or, or rather like pencils collection. Um, but just a disclaimer first uh, all these products uh, were bought with my own money over the like past maybe like 10 years so I didn't buy everything at one go and yeah so just a disclaimer <laughs> and some of them were bought like recently um, later I will show you um, but like those were bought um, during the time when, when I had a job like a day job so I had a fixed income and everything so yeah <laughs> I've also posted um, some links to um, like Amazon and Dick for these different color pencils so if you're interested do check them out for pricing so I will go in a sequence of like um, drawing pencils first and uh, student grade pencils and then slowly move uh, towards the artist grade pencils and I also uh, like separate them into two different parts like not two different parts as in two sections one is um, water soluble pencils and one is non water soluble pencils so first of all um, the student grade pencils so I bought this years and years and years and years ago <laughs> So yeah, I definitely started with Faber Castell. Um, it's a very popular brand uh, for student grid and artist grid pencils. So yeah, these are the water soluble ones um, for the student grid pencils. And I do also have the classic one. Um, but I definitely use the water soluble ones more because like in the past, when I first started with like pencils in my <laughs> elementary school days, um, I didn't know what water soluble pencils were, and I don't really, I didn't really know how to use them. So I thought they were the same um, when they are dry. Basically, they are same when they are dry for this type of student grade pencils. But yeah, I just use them to color, dry, and I've never used this. Um, for any water color work. Okay, so next up are the artist grade section, and I will start off with the water soluble ones. And um, yeah, I think I will go in terms of like, like towards my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> so it's the Derwin um, water soluble pencils. I would say. I like and sorry, I like and dislike these pencils for different reasons. Um, I like them because they the colors are actually quite um, soft. So if you want to like do a soft painting, it's ideal, more ideal than the intense pencils. Um, but at the same time. I don't like them because they are not bright, vibrant enough. <laughs> so that's why I need two sets. This one and the intense. I cannot, like, if I need something vibrant, I'll go for the intense. But I need something softer and like more of a practice, I will use this one. Yeah. And for actual work, I will use another one, which I will show you later. And this one is a 36 set. I didn't get the whole set of this because I didn't I didn't I didn't know what I mean if I would like these pencils but I'm glad I only get the 36 because I don't feel like getting the 72 after getting this. Yeah, because like I mentioned I don't I, I don't like them as much as the intense but that they, they have their own properties. Yeah, so yeah. I'll show you the intense next. These are the Derwin, Derwin ink, ink pens, pencils and this is 24 set. I got this um, because I want to take with me on travel like on holidays and things so I only 
uh, reserve this for traveling so that's why it's not used at all because I also just got them quite recently by the way the paper castell as in the student grade pencils I got them like maybe 10 years ago then sorry my phone just went <laughs> so these are great pencils these are permanent ink pencils so what it means is um, you can apply them dry uh, it acts a little bit like normal uh, non water soluble pencils if you don't add water um, but the downside is I feel that it's, it's scratchy so if you really want to use them solely as um, water, non water soluble pencils then you might need to use them on a smoother paper on a thicker paper or not thicker as in like rougher paper the pencil line is going to show up and it's going to be very scratchy and messy so yeah and but after you add water it's brilliant <laughs> it's beautiful and once it's dry it's permanent but permanent doesn't mean like fast so it might still fade over time when exposed to light but uh, the colors are really vibrant and yeah it's what you call like intense it's intense and this one I mentioned is for like um, traveling and for the actual use I have this set of 72 so yeah Hi. so these are the pencils and you can see that I, actually I, I use them quite a bit but you can see that some of the pencils even they are like I even you even I use them quite a bit they are still in good shape because you only need a little bit of pigment and then you add water it like literally like expand explode or whatever you call yeah the colors are really nice and yeah this one is the second tray I really like them but it's really nice if when you add water. If you don't add water, then it you, you will need to use. I mean, for myself, I think using on a smoother paper will be better. And it doesn't blend uh, as well when you add water when it's dry. Yeah, so something to keep in mind. And then next up, my favorite watercolor pencils is this. The Faber Castell Albert Durer watercolor pencil. I love, 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 love this. And this is a little color chart that I make to like see what the colors and how they look like when they are watered down. And this is the 24 set. This is also the set that I um, plan to bring with me when I'm traveling on um, on holidays. Um, I do have a full set of. 120 colors but it's in a wooden box so it's huge gigantic so I'm not going to show you but <laughs> I might show you I might, I might insert a photo of that box set like now yeah so this is the 24 set and yeah, I really love them the colors are vibrant it's not like intense but they are more really like watercolors um, more subtle, more soft, and um, but they are light fast, super super light fast. So which means um, if we use these pencils to make the art artwork, the artwork uh, will not fade. Uh, like maybe in the next hundred years, <laughs> I don't know how many years, but it's definitely light fast. Yeah, and this is quite expensive. Uh, I forgot to mention all the prices, but. Um, the intense pencils, uh, I got them locally from a local art store. Um, it's I think maybe less than hundred dollars Singapore dollars. I mean, um, it's considered not too expensive for artist script pencils. And this one, <laughs> I got them also locally. Uh, but for this brand, Faber Castell artist script pencils specifically. Um, is much expensive 
um, to buy them locally uh, because they need to like, pay the import fees and things like that so I got this set of 24 for 80 Singapore dollars 8 zero so but I know you can definitely get like cheaper deals on Amazon UK and Amazon.com yeah which I will also go through later because I got one of the already script pencils from Amazon UK and it's much cheaper 